Hey guys, I thought it would be different to do, um, a little bit different to do something not like my usual videos. I cannot speak. Um, so I thought I'd do a get ready with me and talk about my experiences with online dating. So I've sort of already creamed my face with Vaseline and I've done my eyebrows because I did the video before and I was using the mirror and it was just in the way. So I thought I'd let me just start again, start afresh. So, um, okay, so I've done my eyebrows, I've put, I've done, I've put a little bit of foundation underneath. I tend to use like a lighter foundation, um, because sometimes I feel like I'm not that great with applying like under eyebrow concealer. Sometimes it looks a bit dusty. So I've done my eyebrows. I don't spend too much time with them because I think of all the things, that's the part of putting on makeup that I hate. And then, um, because I have dry skin, I use this, um primer called milk it's so good like seriously like this is such a good primer like especially if you have dry skin but also it's good for people who also have like um oily skin as well like it's got very good reviews it's quite expensive but i think it's worth every penny and when you put your foundation on top it's super super smooth so i definitely recommend like milk so i just put like two little like squirts on my hand um and then i just apply it so yeah so i started online dating um the apps that i have are hinge although hinge i think there's a lot of guys on there who think it's they live in some miami vice kind of vibe la i don't know in terms of like the london guys um which are just not my type and i think a lot of them as well are very um culturally christian so yeah so the culturally christian types i've got another app called salt that's specifically for christians um obviously hinge you can filter by christian but obviously like i said i feel like the guys on there they're like oh let me make sure i don't put this and block the way i feel like the guys on there they're very um culturally christian and then you have Salt, and I feel like that app is like more dedicated to Christians, but I've not had any luck with speaking to anyone that I liked and stuff on there. And I feel like that one, there's not that many like guys to choose from, and they limit the guys that you see each day, which is good and bad. Sometimes it's good when it's limited because it means that, um, it means that oh, it gets overwhelming when there's unlimited guys to like look at. It's on, it can be overwhelming, in my opinion. So I just blend it in like the the primer um and sometimes like i just sometimes i just leave this on and then i won't have foundation because i'm like this is so nice like it's really like good it makes your skin look nice um so yeah so that's the one and then i have christian connection i feel like i talk to a lot more people on there which i like um so those are the three apps so there's no structure to this video so i'm just gonna like talk about different topics relating to online dating um so basically like what motivated me to like do online dating is um i just thought i might as well try it um and this year i like every year i set myself goals not necessarily to do with dating like i've never really put a date in a relationship goal but this year I sort of set myself a goal where I said, oh, I'm going to be actively praying and being open to being in a relationship. So off the back of that, I was like, OK, so my goal for the year is if I'm not in a relationship, which is fine, it's all God's will. At least I should try and go on at least one date and it can be an online date or it can be like a face to face. So hopefully, like I get successful <laughs> in my efforts of um online dating to get my one date then at least i know i've actually tried with online dating where i've actually put in some effort because there's like a goal at the end of it if that makes sense rather than sort of doing it and getting discouraged because normally i'm just like mm, just seems like a lot of effort so i use a foundation called um studio sculpt this is for people who have dry skin because a lot of like i feel like a lot of mac foundations is not for people with dry skin like me um, I feel like their foundations can just dry out your skin. So I like put my foundation like this. I put it so it's evenly on like the, all over my face. So that when it's time to use the brush, 
is kind of everywhere and then I just do that blend it in so yeah so yeah I set myself that little goal obviously like you know dating and relationships is not even something that's really a goal kind of thing it's always god willing because just never know how it will go but yeah I just thought I might as well do that so then I started talking to a few guys one two of them were on hinge one of them he was like I was like oh what do you do in your spare time I might put a little bit more I was like what do you do in your spare time and he was like oh um something about he sees friends and stuff and and all of these things and I was like oh okay then I was like in my spare time I like to go to church I like to meet up with friends sometimes I put a bit more because I can still see like you know parts of my face that I don't want to see um in terms of the spots yeah so he was like oh he he then I was like he was like well so what do you do in church in the week and I'm like as he was asking me as if why would you go to church during the week and I was just like what do you mean and he was like you say you go to church in the week what do you do and I'm like you serve you have bible study all these things and then he says to me then I say to him so what church do you go to and he's telling me Jehovah's Witness and then from there the conversation obviously had to end um I felt bad because I was like it's like I'm calling him like not a true Christian but obviously um Jehovah's Witness some of the things contradicts mainstream Christianity but that's not a video for today <laughs> so that was that and then there was another guy that I was speaking to and he was like just I think he's just culturally Christian and you can sort of tell by like what he does in his spare time he said he goes out a little bit but to be honest like to me like I just one of my like non-negotiables is like people who go out I don't like guys that go out um in terms of partying when I say go out and I think he was like um in terms of lists anyway I feel like with list it's good to have a list because you need to um you need to have a like um a filtration system so to speak because there's so many guys on there so you need something that will allow you to easily like um not waste your time because you sort of ask the initial questions based on the list rather than like talking to everybody and then feeling overwhelmed and then you know just feeling discouraged so that's why i encourage lists um so like i have a non i have a husband list obviously but these are like basic i think a lot of my things that come up in my husband list they're like biblical things then i have other personal preferences but it's not like an extensive list that where like oh he needs to have like a lamborghini and work in banking or something um that's not what my lists are like um so yeah so obviously i've done my foundation that's how i like apply my foundation and then what else concealer so yeah i just have this mac concealer basically that has the different shades so then what i'll do is i'll just like apply it for my under eye um i just take a little bit like this with my hands and then i just apply it and blend with my hand yeah so it lets you sort them it lets you filter it so when i was talking to this guy everything seemed nice um he seemed nice um i liked his profile and then when he was speaking to me he was like he's like he was just basically like oh he he said he moved to the country like two years ago but only like in november he went he started going to church and stuff and he just looked like he was like an inconsistent church goer or someone that just didn't value church so then um and then after that, I was just like, yeah, I don't think we're a match. And I just sort of explained to him that I'm looking for someone that's more involved in church and doesn't party. He must be thinking I'm crazy. But sometimes in life, like, you just have to just make... What I'm trying to do as well with my online dating is, instead of ghosting people, I'm just trying to tell them why, I've, why I don't think the conversation should continue. Because I feel like in life, we, we don't have honest conversations with people. And then people don't, like... People don't know. 
they don't like know why and it's not good i think it's good to be honest even if you don't think that the person's a match or like you like i think even if you give a generalization of i think we're different that's best that's better than ghosting i think um people because it's not good i'm trying to like date with integrity um as well so that's how i apply my thing yeah i think it's good to try and date with integrity um as well and then i have you have conversations with people and then they just can't hold a conversation like you can always i feel like sometimes with guys yeah um i'm not an expert obviously but i just feel like when you are talking to them and the conversation is just not they're not asking you questions back it's just one-sided i think that's another reason to call it quits because i was talking to this other guy i liked him i liked that i liked his profile um and then like the conversation i just thought it was a bit one-sided and just thought no i'm not gonna like talk to someone who the conversation is one-sided so after i'd asked my question i think i'd answered i left it because there's nothing more to say at that point then if he wants to continue asking more questions or he's if he's more interested then he will, he will continue to ask those questions but i'm not gonna like continue you know asking someone questions because they may not be interested and the, because we're in a date a dating world they're talk, he's talking to multiple people which is fine i'm talking to other people as well but it's a case of um maybe he's interested in somebody else so he's giving that more attention than me and stuff and that's fine but it's a case of don't spread yourself too thinly and you know like if you're not that interested just just don't continue having conversations with people so that's that um i don't know if i mentioned it but yeah i set myself a goal to you know so i've basically with this year like i've set myself a goal to have at least one date um so even if the whole online dating falls falls through i've set myself a target to have one date it can be online or it can be offline one date okay so that's that for my concealer underneath and i pat it till it till it blends and then sometimes i just do that with the foundation brush just so it's like a bit decent not too like you know whatever so that's that that's how i do my um face and then what else do i do so I basically um I don't know what I should do first yeah so then I'll just get like I don't know if I have a lot of my makeup with me so I'll just get like I will apply like concealer on my eyelids so that when I put the when I put the eyeshadow it actually stays <laughs> so I'll just get like any of the concealers because I'm not bothered about the color of it yeah so going back to like online dating as well um i think you just have to approach it with like low expectations in my opinion um still put in the effort but just don't expect much because it's quite an unusual type of thing because even the whole like abundance of guys to look at it's to human beings we're not supposed to have an abundance of things because we just we need limits we need like things in moderation so that's why people, I think on Twitter, a lot of people are like, they're tired of the talking phase. They're tired of finding out what people's colours, what's people's favourite colours, because people get tired of it. Because to be fair, we're supposed to like, in our day-to-day -day life, we encounter people in smaller quantities, if that makes sense. Not the way we're doing it now in, in the 21st century. Um, whereby we've got so many. So I can see that my concealer on my eyes look a bit crazy so i'll just add some foundation here to sort of minimize it minimize the harshness of the line on here okay so the video cut obviously because i've got like problems with shooting videos my phone just can't handle what i'm trying to do with youtube and stuff so um so that's that i can't even remember where i stopped with online dating but yeah i think i was talking about list i think yeah you need something to filter it through 
and then I was talking about how like we're not necessarily designed to like be looking to like have many guys approach us or like a lot of people and stuff because it's meant to be moderate to be honest so sometimes I just pause my profile um, and then I'll just deal with who comes my way um, but so far I think things are okay it's not nice though because I think after I turned down two guys even though I don't it's not that I I felt bad not because of what I've what I did or if I did it in a wrong way or anything like that it's not nice turning people down but obviously you have to do it but it's not a nice feeling um what is this okay yeah it's not a nice feeling um so I used a naked palette um because I used the cherry one because I feel like the shades are nice for like dark skin or like you know for black people um and I tend to just use like I use like the darker shades, like these shades more than these, to be honest. So I use these ones more. Um, and I like this because me, I try to, I, I'm not that good at doing um, eyeshadow. So I just do it in a basic way. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna apply, I'm trying to think of how to do it. Okay, I'll just do it a bit dark actually. So let me clean this brush. Yeah, so I think that's how online dating is going so far. Hopefully, by the, I'll I'll sort of maybe do a second follow up video where I'll probably talk about um maybe a review, see how it's going, um and then maybe I'll also do a bit of a, hu a husband list video too because I think I might want to talk about that in a little bit more detail, um and stuff like that. Um. But yeah, so let me just apply this eyeshadow. So obviously I've put my um, concealer as a base to make it stay on longer. So I'm using, the one that I'm using on here from the Naked palette is Drunk Dial. The names of these things, mate. <laughs> anyway, so I'll just apply it. Yeah, so I think, I feel like I'm in a place where I'm quite content being single, but at the beginning of this year, I was like, maybe I need to make a bit of more of an effort. And I'm not saying that we have to strive and stuff because obviously like it's God, do, God does what he wants to do. Sometimes we're not in, we're obviously not in control. And I know if it's not God's will for me to be in a relationship this year, then so be it. Um, and I'm obviously, everything I do, I try to take heed. So if I feel like God is like, these apps, they need to go, then they'll go. Like I try to be obedient with what God wants me to do because at the end of the day, like if we're Christians who want our lives to be under God's control, then we need to learn how to... Um, you know listen to his voice and like be obedient because not everything oh the video <laughs> anyway we'll just leave it anyway so um that's what i try to do um as well so yeah i think you know that's just online dating in, in summary Shema, you know you're on camera You've ruined the video. My bad. I'm using my sister's room, obviously, so now the video is ruined. But I think I'll just keep it because I don't want to re-record. Um, yeah, so I think we just have to always be obedient to what God wants us to do at the end of the day. Um, and, yeah, be obedient. I don't necessarily want my love story to be an online one, though. I kind of just want to meet someone in a natural and in an organic way. Um, so maybe I self-sabotage in some ways when it comes to online dating. I don't think I do though. But I'm trying to give it more of a chance. Because like you just have to try and see where it goes. Um, with these things. So yeah, this is how I apply my, my foundation. My, look at me, foundation, my eyeshadow. I'll just put like... A somewhat base color I just leave it like that and then and then I'll just get like because obviously this foundation comes with the brush with, with a brush so I'll get like the dark one it's called privacy so it's the last one 
So I use like privacy, which is the dark, and then I'll just do that. Just so it's not too dark, because at the end of the day, it's still the daytime. So that's it really. And then I'll apply my eyeliner. If I can find it. I speak to a lot of my friends about their online dating experiences and I feel like it's the same like it's usually the guys that you like don't like you back the ones you don't really like like you back and then you have a few like people who are just a bit too eager to be in a relationship which is a red flag in itself so I feel like that's a lot of people's experiences when it comes to online dating so if you're not online dating I don't think you're missing out too much <laughs> because it's just so like um, temperamental but I think if you're considering it pray about it before you decide to embark on that journey and also um, and if you're not part of it don't feel you have to be because everyone is on it um, as well yeah so this is how I apply my eyeliner I don't put it Yeah, so I just use like um I need to get different a different eyeliner. I just get the cheapest one that is like matte. I don't like the um you can get some other versions, but I prefer the matte. I've been using matte since I was like young. So that's the one I use. Yeah, pray about it before you decide to do it, I think. And be very, very careful because there's people on there that are like obviously have the wrong intentions. Um, and people like to masquerade a lot and pretend to be somewhat people they're not as well um, funny, funnily enough I remember like ages ago when I first downloaded that one time me and my sister we just downloaded it just to see what was on there and we just laughed and laughed and laughed and there's catfishes as well because people take people's pictures you can sometimes you can tell when people take someone's picture because I remember there was like a guy at my church and he was like, I wouldn't say famous, but I would say that he's quite, um, he's got a, like a career in the arts, let's say. And it just wasn't him. Like just from what was written on the profile and stuff, it's like somebody had taken his pictures off his Instagram and is now posing to be him. And I know some people might think it probably is him, it's not him. And um, <laughs> because yeah, it's just not him. And yeah, people take people's pictures. So yeah, that's how I do my eyeliner. And then the last thing is mascara. So I use this mascara from Rumel called Scandal Eyes. Uh, my eyelashes are the tiniest eyelashes of all time. <laughs> and I'm not that great at putting on um, false eyelashes, although I learned how to put it on again last year. I was quite proud of myself. So yeah, I just add my... my mascara yeah people just they're very funny online as well um very very funny but i like list, look, looking at people's profiles because you really get a feel of who the person is anyway sometimes because like if you're not if you don't like someone that parties and you see a party picture it's easy he party he goes out so it's easy to sort of distinguish between like um people and then sometimes you get people that are like, I think Hinge is, to me, I did not not enjoy Hinge in the slightest because there's just a lot of like um, guys that like to show off. Like, I don't like guys who are materialistic. Like, I don't need to see your Audi or your BMW. I don't need to see you. I don't need to see that you like to shop in Selfridges. Like, it doesn't need to be that way. 
I don't like that. So yeah, it'll be nice to hear what you guys' experiences are with online dating, what your thoughts are about it. Um, yeah, it'll be nice to hear what your experiences are. So obviously drop your comments in the comment section. And yeah, it'll be nice to have a bit of a conversation and get some engagement. So this is my makeup. This is how I do my makeup. I'm not like a makeup expert, obviously. So I just like keep it basic because I cannot do fancy things. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That is it, man. And then my hair. Oh, I'm going to put it in a bun, but I'll do that off camera. So yeah, that is my makeup look.